I'm Sharon and welcome back to my channel. So instead of Vlogmas, we are doing violin... Hi everyone, I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel. So instead of Vlogmas, we are doing violin miss, where for the seven days leading up to Christmas, I will be posting a bite-sized lesson on how to improve a particular violin technique. These lessons are meant to be small enough where you can practice every day, but still have a really big impact on improving your overall violin fitness. So during winter break, you can practice these techniques and come into 2021 an upgraded musician. So let's get started. Today's tutorial is on how to keep your bow straight and how to keep your bow within the proper sounding point. Alrighty, let's get started. So the technique that we're going to be going over today is called figure eight bowing. That means your right arm is going to be moving in a figure eight motion. So let me show you what that means. And I will be exaggerating my movements here just to make sure that I can demonstrate it properly. the number eight it's like this and there is a middle point in that eight it's like an infinity symbol too so it's like if you keep going in this kind of movement you'll always stay within the confines of that area so just imagine like an infinity symbol or an eight just right here on the string and that's exactly what you're doing with your bow and if you do it like that then your bow is never going to leave that sounding point unintentionally. You can intentionally move it up from that sounding point. For example, if you're playing a quieter passage, then you want to move it over here. Or if you're playing a louder passage, you want to move it here. But that's for another lesson. So let's divide this up into two parts. So you have the down bow part and then you have the up bow part. So the main idea behind this technique is that as you are doing a down bow, you are going to be pushing your hand out and then as you are doing an up bow, you're going to be pulling it back in. So this causes a circular motion on the string. So down bow, pushing out. Imagine that the string is attached here and it's pulling you out this way. You're going to bend your wrist this way as you are doing your down bow. And while you're practicing this, it's not uncommon for your bow to kind of start angling itself this way because that's just human anatomy, I mean, or physics. As you are moving your wrist this way, it's kind of natural for your bow to move this way as well. So again, I'm exaggerating and I would recommend that if you are practicing at home that you exaggerate your movements as well. As you become familiar, then you can start making the movements less obvious. Now with the down bow, you need to make sure that as you are getting to the tip of the bow, that you are still using a fair amount of pressure to make sure that your bow is not slipping all over the place. It is very easy for your bow to start going like, like that, like it's gonna slip out if you don't use enough pressure to keep the string, to keep the bow in the string. That is the first half. So let's tackle the second half of this figure eight technique now. And that is going to be the up bow. So with the up bow, you actually want to bring your arm inwards this way. So let's start up here and we're gonna start bringing our bow in, pulling it towards us. <laughs> Like this. So uh, remember I said with the down bow, you have the string that's pulling your wrist this way. Now with the up bow, you have a string that's attached to the top of your wrist and pulling it this way. Your right hand wrist needs to be very flexible and needs to be able to go in both kinds of directions. So let's say you've just done your down bow and you're at the tip here. Once you finish your down bow, you're kind of like your right hand is a little bit out here, so it, you know it's not perfectly straight, but that is the idea behind this technique, is that this kind of movement is meant to keep you within the sounding point. There is this perception that your bow has to be parallel to 
the bridge at all times, but that is actually just not correct. There's a couple different schools of thought on it, uh, but you'll see violinists, like some of them try to keep it like totally parallel, but then you'll see other virtuoso violinists who uh, do the figure eight method. All right, so that's it for this quick tip. If you want to learn more about how to keep your bow straight or how to keep your bow within a specific sounding point, please let me know and I can do a more comprehensive video on that someday. Also make sure that you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on so that you get notified when I upload a new technique video. And it's also a good reminder to practice because when you see my name on your phone as a notification, you'll be like, oh yeah, I need to practice today. With that, I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Violin Miss. Bye!